What up guys, if you guys are trying to buy the cheapest and most reliable MT online, make sure to go to nbamtstore.com and use the code SHIFT for 5% off your next purchase. All the other info is in the description guys, be sure to check it out. What's going on guys, it's Shiv, I'm back here with another video for you guys today. And today guys, we got Market Watchers episode 3 right here. So yeah, basically I'm just going to be going through again the market and everything like that. This is my third episode, I basically just go through like different cards, their prices, what I think when you should sell and buy cars, all of that guys. And especially with Limited this weekend, that's honestly affecting the market a lot. I didn't realize at the beginning of the year how much Limited would actually affect the auction house. But it does, so I'm going to talk more about that guys and like spotlight challenges, XP, tokens, everything about that guys. Just tips basically for no money spent players on how to grind the game. Even if you aren't a no money spent player, you can kind of use these tips just to help out your team, all of that guys. So definitely check out this video guys. Let's get into it right away. But before we do, like up this video guys. Let's see if we can get a nice 15 likes on the video. Subscribe if you're new. We're on that road to 2000 subs. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. First thing I want to talk about guys is limited. So yeah, I got my second ring this weekend. Right here you guys can see I got two rings. So basically limited this weekend was all players must have a 70 or lower three point shot and no free agent cards are allowed. So no free agent cards are pretty, is like a pretty common thing now. But the thing is with the players having a 70 or lower three point shot is that if you guys look for example, I'll go through like some cards that I know have a less than 70 three point shot is this Giannis. So this Giannis, before the weekend he was almost down to like 45k, 40k and now his price has kind of skyrocketed back to that 50k range. So the thing is, if you guys have any players that have this like 70 or lower 3 point rating, no matter what it is, bronze, silver, gold, sapphire, ruby, any any type of card, literally just sell them now. Like literally sell them today, you'll, you'll maximize your MT. Because especially like, see already Giannis's price is starting to go down. Like yesterday I saw he's going for like 55, 56k. He's already down, some people are putting him under 50k. So yeah, I'm still trying to sell mine. Like you guys see right here, I'm trying to sell him for like 50k. So right there, I got a Giannis right there. Same thing with like MJ guys, if you guys just recently pulled him. Um, he's like a pretty good pretty pretty good card that I use this um, this weekend to get that ring in unlimited this MJ right here He's going for around 80k. So his price I could expect to drop down to like 70k Maybe even 60k later um, this week after the limited event is done and all that guys So He's still hovering, hovering around that 80k range um, And then we got Gus Williams right here. Gus Williams is another card. I think you guys should kind of be paying attention to He's like he's a rim runner. He's the best rim runner in the game Probably he's so fast and all that he's still hovering around that 20k range, which is pretty pretty insane i sold him yesterday for like 20k so yeah okay so it looks like 17k or so but yeah gus williams i know he was down to like 10k earlier this week he he's he's back up just because of the limited event but then he's gonna go back down after that because the thing is guys I'm, I'm gonna basically show the example with this ben wallace the thing is with this limited event guys not ben Mac mclemore ben wallace right here guys you guys see there's only four cards in the market right now with Ben Walls. And the reason for that is he obviously he has a less than 73 point shot right there, 25 three point shot. So, so many people are buying this card just to use it for the limited event. And most people will either probably sell him back. You'll probably, maybe some people will lock him in, but yes, most people will be selling him back. And we're going to see a tons of Ben Wallace's probably later tonight or tomorrow on the market, which is definitely going to bring down his prices. When a bunch of cards go into like the market at the same time, that's when prices start to drop, guys. So, yeah. We might see a bunch of Ben Wallace's even like that's basically for any card that has a less than 73 pointer. It might be like overflowed in the market. So Gus Williams might drop down a lot. Ben Wallace might drop down a lot. And that would be the best time to buy it, guys, because that's when their price is going to be the lowest. So Ben Wallace, I think, will drop temporarily today and tomorrow, later tonight and tomorrow. But then he'll start to level out after that. So if you guys are trying to complete this set right here, I'm still trying to complete this set. Yeah, this is Ben Wallace to get this Gary Payne maybe try to get him i would say a good price to get him is under 90k under 85k so if you guys can get him for that price try to do it if not i might be wrong with that guys i still might be wrong i'm not going to guarantee that he still might hover around the 100k um, range maybe even not a buy now anymore so we'll see right here there's only four ben wallaces which is pretty crazy there used to be a tons but yeah we'll see more on that guys and then the, the reason i always i'm trying to lock in this hat i've been talking about this guys is because 2k really said if you lock in this set every week they're going to be releasing like a set like this of just five cards and then some spotlight challenges too so we got spotlight challenges right here if you guys complete all the spotlight challenges each week so i did the first um one right here it's just five games you got to play i did the first one right there if you do this every week you get a diamond bill russell so that, that's the that's the first thing right there guys so right here i can show you spotlight challenges right here it does say mystery player but they did reveal to us that it will be a diamond bill russell we just don't know what the rest of the four players are going to be and then the same thing with that guy so right here this is where the gary payton is i don't have him yet so gary payton's in this slot if you collect all of those you get a pink diamond julius serving so those are pretty good guys i'm really gonna try to snag that um uh, not bill russell that ben wallace later guys i'm gonna try to snag that ben wallace later i can honestly bid on him okay that's like 100k that's still a lot but yeah 
if you guys are trying to get him d definitely if you guys are trying to get that pink diamond dr j definitely start completing some of these collections because the thing is these prices will start to go up eventually like even this dennis johnson he's like a guy who has that less than 73 point rating there's not that many of him in the market so his price is going to be a little bit up and same thing as time goes on like because they're still in packs right yeah they're still in packs right here once they're out of packs there's gonna be way less of them on the market so try to get them usually if you guys are trying to complete these collections do it that week when the packs come out because that's when prices are going to be the lowest they're going to start to rise a little bit later until we obviously we have like bigger market crashes in the future but i'll update you guys on all of that later so yeah that's basically it guys for um those different prices and stuff like that with limited this weekend limited really did affect the market a lot guys so yeah I, those are my recommendations on that and then in terms of xp guys xp and levels honestly do have an effect on the market too and i've kind of figured out what what really happens what really happens is basically like for example right here you'll see where th what the player from the nuggets franchise earned five blocks in a single game so any nuggets player guys is today's the day to sell them so if you guys have like for example i just put everyone that i want to sell in my auctions then i'll look through the daily challenges and any challenges that come out I'll be like do i have any nuggets player here i already i think i already sold my nuggets players yeah, yeah, I already sold my Nuggets players. So if I have any Nuggets players here, I'm going to try and sell them. Same thing. Another thing I did was today's daily challenge is acquire a gold a gold power forward from the auction house. So I look through. I have a bunch of players that I'm waiting to sell. This is basically just cards in my collection that I don't use. I just kept them on my auction house. Then I sold all these three gold power forwards. And I sold them for like 3,000 MT each. If you guys don't do that, like let's say I did it on a normal day, I would only get like 1,000 each from them. So like basically what you guys want to do is be looking at this, seeing what people are doing. Like even this, like um what's this one like domination from five players with the pistons pistons players will increase temporarily so find that time right when these challenges come out you can sell those players from the pistons the bucks not really because this is an original owned car but yeah you guys can just try to look at these xp challenges like try to look at these xp challenges figure out what's going on today sell those players like i i sold all my Denver players maybe tomorrow let's see i'll go to my auctions right now i'll give you guys a quick example like let's say tomorrow they say like jazz players you need like three jazz players in tto I'll quickly just do the challenge with this Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert, and maybe one more player, then I'll send them back. And they'll be like a lot higher than they would be normally. So like, yeah, this is a really good way of making MT. Just basically stalking, the, I don't want to say stalking, but yeah, stalking these XP challenges, figuring out what's going on that day, and then selling cards based on that. So like, honestly, it's a really, it's pretty cool. Like on how these two new things that 2K added to my team are really affecting the market in different ways. Like with limited, with people trying to buy certain cards that weekend, and then same thing with challenges. People want to get like Zubak. If you guys saw that, for example, this Zubak was going for like 13K. Same thing with like Kyle Lowry. This 2020 Kyle Lowry, he was going, I don't even know exact like the exact price, but he's going for a lot higher than he normally would be. And then once these challenges expire, obviously those are going to be gone. So um, I'm, what am I even saying? Once these challenges expire, guys, their prices are going to be a lot lower. So definitely try to sell cards right when the challenges come out. It's probably the best way to make MT. And then another thing, guys, I just want to talk about is domination. I'll kind of give you guys a quick update. I know I've been talking about this. So obviously, I completed this. I got Nick Van Exel. We did all of the games right here, 99 stars right there. I'm working on Historic right now. And the thing is, I really just played two games from each um, division, or I guess like decade or something like that. Two games right here, got six tokens. Another two games all the way here. And then I'm about to complete these last three games right here. And I get what 16 tokens from each of these yeah I get 16 tokens from each of these guys so that's 48 tokens right there and I got those 10 tokens from getting 33 stars too I'm gonna get those um, 48 tokens get some more players from the, the reward market with the amethyst rewards right there guys and then probably move on to all time I'll probably just try to complete all time right away get that pink diamond George Mike in. maybe I'll come back to historic in a bit but yeah this is a pretty good strategy guys I'm gonna do the same thing in um in all time where I just play two games all the way to the end and just get all those tokens that's really how you can just maximize token profit quickly without actually having to play all the domination games because then now I can even go back to historic right here guys and I get another 6 plus 12 in each division after completing the rest of the three games so that's another 18 tokens right there so 18 times 6 or whatever I don't know what, what that exactly is I think it's like 100 what 100 quick mass right here 108 I think I did that correctly but yeah these are some really good ways to make tokens guys so yeah make sure you guys do domination you don't even have to do all of it literally just play two games in each division you'll make some quick tokens right there and then the last three games obviously i know it's pretty hard guys but i'll make a video soon on how to complete domination games pretty easily there's a playbook i, I use and a play i use so i'll definitely let you guys know also just playing domination games just straight up are pretty good for just like improving your skill and all that guys so yeah that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed it i'm level 30 now on that way to steph curry guys we're 10 levels away but yeah, Market Watchers episode 3, guys. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Like up the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, I'm out. Peace.